Hey guys, it's Dana and welcome back to Kay's Place. So I hope everybody's had a good week. Um, it's Saturday. Um, we are headed home tomorrow morning from our vacation in Tennessee. And I did manage to coerce my husband with a lot of very sweet talk into going to two Dollar Trees while we were on our vacation. Um, once because we needed something and once because I begged. So let me show you what I picked up. Um, I did find quite a few new things. Um, some that I'd seen other people haul that I didn't have at my Dollar Tree and a couple of things that I hadn't seen ever before. So let me show you what I picked up. I did go ahead and break it down into categories for you guys. So I'm going to show you my very favorite thing last. But I think I'm going to start off with the stationary stuff I found. So, I've seen several people haul this and I hadn't found any, and it's the Jot Redline Tape. Um, I use a lot of this when I craft. Love this stuff. It's amazing. For any of you who paper craft, you know exactly what this is. For those of you who don't, it is a double-sided red tape that is super, super strong. This stuff will hold amazingly well, and I just went ahead and picked up three of those. They had a bunch, but I do have to manage to pack to go back home. So, I just picked up three. And then I had seen somebody haul this, and I am a sucker for notebooks anyway. And this is my Greenbrier. And it doesn't say how many sheets it has in it, which is unusual for them. But it is so adorable. It's this little gem right here. Pop just underneath that little gem. And it flashes, and it's got the really pretty ombre feathers on it. I just thought it was so cute. So, pick that up. So, then we were in the electronics section of the store, and we needed some auxiliary cables. So, these are the e circuit brand auxiliary cables. Sorry about the glare. There you go. And these are the 3.5 millimeter 48 inch auxiliary cables and these are the tangle free because they're the flat cords. So we did pick up two of those so we'd have an extra one just in case. And then I was also able to find the phone holders, the little stands. This one says I don't care. There was one that says Every time, uh, sometimes, some, sometimes I fall apart. It was a taco, and then um, there was another one with French fries on it. I can't remember exactly what it said. This one says I don't care, and this one says you bake me crazy. And my husband wanted one, and he wanted the donut one. There it is. All oops, slid it apart there. There it is all put together and just two pieces just slides together just like that and then here's his cell phone and so your cell phone just sits right like that on top of it and it sits perfect no problems at all and he even has a pop socket on the back of his phone and it still sits perfect so then up towards the register, both my husband and I wear glasses and have sunglasses, and up towards the register we found these two packs of eyeglass cleaning cloths, and they're the microfiber brand, and it was a two pack, so there's an orange one, and then a purple one. Now that's a dark purple, it's starting to be kind of magenta-y on the film, but it's actually a dark purple. Just picked up one of those. And then like in the bath section, my husband's got a horrible back just like I do, but in the bath section we found this rolling massager, and I was like, I was messing with him, rolling it across his back, his back's always really sensitive, he's like, oh my gosh, that feels so amazing. So, we've already kind of tried this out in store, and he says this little sucker is amazing, so we picked one up, so, got that for him. And while we were on vacation, we happened to shop at some of the outlet malls and we picked up a couple of clothing items and they're things I didn't necessarily want to fold back up and put in my suitcase and I didn't want them to wrinkle. So 
We did pick up a pack of eight hangers at the Dollar Tree just so we could put those in our garment bag to transport back home. Nothing too exciting there. And at home, I have a hard time finding this. It is the Jot glitter paper with the adhesive back. And I got two packs of this particular color. And there's the purple, orange, and yellow, or the lavender, orange, and yellow. So I did get two packs of it. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it's a little bit bigger than eight and a half by 11. So a pretty decent size and like I said there are three sheets and it does have the adhesive back so this would be amazing for cutting out shapes on your Cricut or die cutting shapes on this because it would already have that adhesive back on it <laughs> then I did go ahead and get two packs of the kind of aqua teal color here green and the deep purple those colors. I think it might be kind of a tealy blue color right there in between, but that's definitely a dark purple and then a green. So I picked up two packages of those and those are also the adhesive back ones. Ow! What'd you do? I my ankle. My husband's trying to kill himself in the other room in there. And then also in the car section, when we hopped, when we were still over there, I forgot about these. We found the Driver's Choice Car Air Fresheners. We really like these in our car because the scents aren't overpowering. And we found the Apple and Cinnamon. So we picked up two of these. So I really like these. The scent is really nice, but it's not an overpowering, glowing scent. So I picked up two of those. Then I also found I'm constantly putting my hair up and I needed one of those little combs with like the pick on the end of it. So this package of combs had one of those in there and my son's always everywhere around the house always needing a comb. Combs get lost all the time. So I found this 12 pack of combs. So this is by Basic Solutions. So I picked up this 12 packet of combs to have around the house. Then, I had never seen these before and I'd never seen anyone haul them, so I only picked up one package. I'm probably going to kick myself because I've never seen these in our area. These are April Bath and Shower, and it says they're a green briar product. They are iPads, cooling cucumbers, what they are. They're 16, and it says that you can seal in plastic bag and place in fridge overnight maybe stored in the freezer until needed so they're little ipads that look like little cucumbers so it's kind of interesting so picked up some of those i did see some new elf products i think i may have seen pretty in flawed haul at least one of these this is the elf Sculpt and Glow Duo Stick in a light to medium. And I pop this out of the package and I'll show you what it looks like. Maybe. Their packaging is so well. So here we go. So this is the glow side, which I'm assuming is like the highlighting side. It's kind of a goldish color. There's something magical, mystical, spiritual about seeing an elephant. You don't get that. And then this is the sculpt side, which is the one you use on your eyebrows. And it's kind of a medium brown, which yeah, isn't too too far off from my brow color. So, I'm give that a shot. I'm excited to play with that. So, picked that up. 
Then I found this one. This is the eyebrow lift and filler in ivory and medium. And that's what this is. Well, this one's got a little sharpener on the end of it for the paste here, the lift piece. We only give them treats when they keep their trunks underneath the chains, and the chains are placed to keep them from swimming in their trunks. Like we'll leave a plastic in there or something. Hey, Hassie. Good girl? A little brush? Yeah, you can do a little brush, though. Trunk down. I'm happy a good girl. Not gonna tell me yes or no, huh? Mm, good girl. I've been working with the elephants here yeah. at the Bronx Zoo for 27 years. I guess we're just getting all together. You want more? So there's the lift color. It's kind of a creamy color. She just loves to play. And girl, then there's the girl, medium happy. color. Yes, and I guess that's kind of my color. Happy, back up. She can touch them if she wants. She can hear them. But she's kept separately from them. Girl, she can't be with other elephants. She just doesn't get along with them. Pumpkin foot. People have this impression that they don't do well by themselves, but she's absolutely doing phenomenal. Chunk up. She loves our attention. We love her attention. Good girl. She gets a lot of one-on-one. Good girl. So that's not so bad. Okay. As long as it works. A little strange. Okay. Then I found this elf under eye concealer and highlighter in medium glow. You've got the highlighter here and the concealer here. So the concealer is kind of that color right there. And pretty much whatever I've been in, you really can't see a difference between that and my skin. And it says it's a medium, but that would be an awfully light medium because I'm usually a light to ivory. So, I mean. We think the best thing for them is just for them to live out their lives here at the Bronx Zoo. That looks pretty close. And then we've got this highlighter here. Pretty shimmer. It's really pretty. Then this one is just a new eyeliner. I had left my eyeliner at home. And so I needed to pick up another one. I'm sorry if I was mumbling. I was kind of talking to myself there. Sorry. Um, I did get this new eyeliner because I had left mine at home and I needed one. And this looks like it has a great point on it. 
Oh, it's real smooth. That's great. That's awesome. I like that. Now I wish I'd have picked up more of it. Picked up a second one. That's awesome. I really like that. It's so hard to find a good black eyeliner. It's very difficult. Most people think you just, oh, it's eyeliner. It's hard to find a good one. It's like once you do find a good one, you don't want to give it up because it works so well. So, then the other things I found were primarily food related items. Let's this out of the way. Anything, any reason that my mind could come up with anything besides drugs and alcohol, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Okay, so I found, I had seen the freeze-dried strawberries and the apples, but, or peaches, but I had never seen the freeze-dried mixed fruit, so there's that, and it's got, if you look at the ingredients, it's got bananas, strawberries, and mulberries in it, so that should be an interesting combination, I haven't tried it yet, but it looks pretty good. And then my husband, my son, and myself all like these. And I think we bought two of these, but I think my husband's already been into one. These are the Sweet Tart Soft and Chewy Ropes in Cherry Punch. And you get a three ounce package of these. So we all like these, and my husband was wanting some, so he picked up a couple packages of these. I am not a huge salt person. So I like unsalted pretzels and they had the Snyder of Hanover unsalted mini pretzels. So I picked up a 9.25 ounce bag of these pretzels and if you see right up here in the bag, corner of the bag, it says they are selling for $2.99 at the grocery. So and they are, it's hard to find those on sale. So, we also found the hubby, a container of Pringles. I know they're cheaper at Walmart. We weren't at Walmart, and it was all the way down the other end of the strip from where we were staying. Dollar Tree was closer. So, we did pick him up a container of Pringles for the cabin. And we found these Lance. And Vanilla lunch cookies. There's two little cookies in each package, and there's two or six packages of cookies in here, and it is 6.6 6 ounces altogether. So I love these little vanilla cookies. They're so yummy, and so I went ahead and picked up a package of these cookies. They had the vanilla, the lemon, and I believe the chocolate cookies like this. Then, I have never seen these at my Dollar Tree. I've seen other people haul them, but we have not had them. And these are the Club Peanut Butter Sandwich Crackers, and this is an 8-pack. So, I went ahead and picked those up. And I have never seen these. These look so yummy. These are the Betty Crocker Limited Edition Chocolate Hazelnut Cookies. So, those look so yummy. And they, this comes in a 14 ounce bag. And you just need one stick of butter and one egg to make these cookies. So I picked up two packages of cookies, cookie mix, and then I finally found the now and laters again. Yay! So I picked up three bags of now and laters because I was talking to my husband, and these would make awesome bags of candy for Halloween because they're all individually wrapped. And where are you going to find a 16.7 ounce bag of candy for Halloween for a dollar that all kids are probably going to like? And these don't expire until 221 of 2020. So I think I'm going to stay cold on to until Halloween. And let's see what else to pick up. I found these in the candle department. My husband would have been. 
We found <clears throat> at our cabin they had some of these fragrance sachets sitting around, and he really liked them. And um, I had, someone had sent me a um, package, and in the package there were some of these little sachets, and he thought they smelled so amazing that he wanted one. So we hadn't found a scent that he liked. And this passion fruit smells really good. So we found it, and he really liked it, so I went ahead and picked up three packages of the passion fruit ones to put wherever it is he would like to put them. So I'm not sure where that's at. So now, on to my favorite find that I found while I was at the Dollar Tree out of town. Because I've never seen them. I found they're made by luminescence. It has a color changing effect and an on off switch. And I don't think I took it out of the package. I'm not even sure if they have this battery. Yeah. Okay. So. Sorry about that. So, I have not opened these yet, but are these not adorable? These are candles. Look at those and they're roses. So there's two white ones in the package and two pink ones in the package. So let me open one of these real quick for you guys. Oh, and they're like a velvety, they feel velvety. It's like a velvety texture, so they feel like almost a real flower. Let's pull the little tab out. Oh my goodness, look at that. Can you guys see? Isn't that gorgeous? That's the white one. That is so pretty. So there's two white ones. And then... I'm sure what the pink ones look like. I guess I'd never seen them before. And they're so cute. The pink ones are the same way. They have that real velvety feeling to them. And then they also have that. So yeah, well, that's not adorable. So I thought those were just so cute. That was my favorite find while I was out of town where these little roses. I thought they would be so cute mixed into a flower arrangement. And then you could turn those on and give it some light or like in a, in a votive holder. You know, like for a little votive, instead of just putting a plain old candle, you could put the little roses in there. I just thought they were so cute. So, that was all I found while I was out of town at the Dollar Tree. So, comment below, let me know what you guys thought. And, I'll be talking to you guys again soon when I get back in town. So, if you're one of my current subscribers, thank you guys for all of your continued support. I did not get a whole lot of pictures while we were gone, but I did take a few. And I also did a short video of what the cabin looked like. So, I will post that when I get back home as well. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed my Dollar Tree haul. If you're a current subscriber, thank you very much for all your continued support. And if you're not a current subscriber, please consider hitting that subscribe button below. 
and when you do a little bell will pop up and if you click on that bell YouTube will notify you each and every time I upload a new video so thanks for watching and spending a little bit of your time with me and I will see you guys later thanks